Hi everyone. Happy Friday. Um I don't know. I guess I'm gonna <laughs> I guess I'm gonna get pretty real here. Um I've been going through some struggles in my life right now, learning how to be independent and standing on my own two feet and everything like that. And honestly, I feel everybody should do this. We really should not depend on other people or be so dependent on other people that we don't know how to control our lives or we don't know what to do with our lives because we've allowed so many other people to make the decisions for us or help us make those decisions in a more dominant way. I feel that um, we definitely need to learn to take care of ourselves and be okay with being alone at times and everything like that. Um, I know it's struggling, especially for a lot of people, but the most struggling part that I've noticed is making excuses and not trying and not pushing. That was my base thing, is excuses. Excuses were my escape. I always gave excuses on why I couldn't do anything. And now I'm not giving any excuses. Especially now, like, I'm making these videos, and they may not be happy-go-lucky and everything like that, the way I want them to be right now and everything. But I'm still making videos. I'm still making some type of content. <laughs> but, um... I wanted to give a suggestion for those who are going through this and are learning to be on their own and feel like they're struggling or they can't do anything, that it's all going to go back to the way it used to. That's not true. If you keep practicing and keep practicing and keep practicing what you are doing, the routines you are doing, what you're adding into your life, the new experiences, the new memories and everything like that, it is definitely going to be a positive outcome. Especially if you don't make excuses. Especially if you put through. Don't forget to. Don't push yourself too hard. But don't let yourself just sit there every day and not do anything. You have to find that balance. And once you find that balance, it's going to work out. And you're going to love it. It's going to be amazing. You're going to have experiences that you never thought. Because you made excuses. Because you didn't have the right person to be there, to experience it with you. We don't need people to experience things with us all the time. It's okay to experience something. Go have your favorite dessert at a restaurant that you haven't been into for a while by yourself. Enjoy it. You may look around and see families together, people together, everything like that. And it may put you down a little bit. But you're enjoying it because you're doing it for you. You're out there doing it for you, not for anybody else. You can invite others and if nobody has the time to go or they can't go or whatever, don't put it off not to go. Be like, okay, well, next time. I'm going to go enjoy my favorite food at a restaurant. I'm going to go enjoy a day at the park, even if it's by myself. Because it seems that being by ourselves is the biggest fear. Especially in this day and age. is We're terrified to be alone. We're terrified of being with ourselves. And I feel that that is definitely, be beca uh, definitely because we're not happy with ourselves. You look in the mirror and you look at all your flaws. Don't look at your flaws. Look at what you love. Look at what you like. Tell yourself, I like this about me. If you feel you don't look good in the outfit that you first picked, okay, find another one. You are most likely going to find an outfit that you feel great in. Don't wear it for anyone else. Wear it for yourself. If you feel like you need to talk, but there's nobody around or you don't feel like you want to talk to anyone, but you feel like you need to get something out, write yourself a letter. People have this weird mindset that it is weird or strange that you talk to yourself. I talk to myself. I talk to myself a lot. 
I refer to myself as we at times and everything like that because it helps me. And it's been going great because the we is me, myself, and I. And my little one in my tummy. <laughs> and, you know, find things that motivate you. Find things that make you happy. That make you happy. That make your day, whether it's going for a walk, whether it's doing all of this. I have post-traumatic stress disorder, yes. I had depression. I had paranoia. You see that I'm using past tense on these because, yeah, I may have been diagnosed with them and everything like that, but I feel that the more positive you are, I'm not on medication. I'm not. The only thing that I do uh, when I can is smoke marijuana. CBD most of the time, actually. And it helps. I'd rather I'd rather be doing that than on pills because pills don't do anything for me besides make everything worse. They make me not want to do anything. They make me want to sit and just, oh, I feel numb. I don't feel anything. It makes everything hide and that's not okay. You need to face them. And when you face them, when you go through and you battle and you fight and you win, you feel so much better. I'm saying this because I know a lot of people that are going through the same exact thing that I'm going through. And that's whether being alone, dealing with heartbreak, or anything that's upsetting. It is okay to cry. It is okay to show emotion, whether you're a guy, girl, whatever. It does not matter. You are amazing. And showing emotion does not make you weak. Asking for help does not make you weak. It shows how much stronger you are. Every, there's a lot of people that think that all of this is for weak people. No. You are not weak. You are very strong, especially when you let your emotions show. <sighs> but. I wrote myself a letter. I've been actually writing myself letters. I've been writing myself letters. I've been writing my baby letters. I, I've been writing letters. And they've been helping me a lot. And I would like to read one of them to you guys. I wrote until my hand hurt. And I couldn't think anymore. And everything felt like it just was on that paper, on that page. And it feels so good. And I do apologize for crying, but I'm so happy that I cry when I read this because it helps. It really does. Dear Pixie, I know we are facing conflict and fighting our own demon, our own enemies without anyone else. I know we love I know we love so and so very much, more than anyone we have ever loved. Though we aren't with him now, there's possibilities in the future, and that is not our focus. That is all just hope. Our focus is growing stronger and independent, especially when we go back to the house. We are going to want to spend time with him and stay inside because that's our comfort zone. It's not going to happen. We are going to do our best to work every day, go out with other friends, make new experiences and memories. We choose to live our life the way we want. All about us and our little one. We have months, not many months, but months until our little man is in our arms. So let's stay strong, positive, happy, and magical. We love ourselves. And that's what we need to do. We won't back down. We won't give up. Cry when you need to cry. Scream when you need to scream. Don't hold anything back. 
pain reminds us we are alive and we can make this life and we can make this life we have amazing our journey never ends when someone leaves we have the whole world and our life ahead of us surrounded on ourselves instead of everyone else we may get lonely and so sometimes and that's okay it's how we handle everything that brings an amazing outcome we got this i'm always here for you we are magical we are effing amazing and i love myself big hugs and kisses It's the second time I've read it. The first time, I flood, <laughs> a flood of tears came out. Because yes, I'm dealing with heartbreak right now, and I'm dealing with learning how to love myself. And I'm happy I write these letters. Because I can go back, I know where they are, and they, I just read them and I can do it but I really hope that this video helps like I said I know that it's not happy-go-lucky funny or anything like that but it's it's real and I want people to know that you are not alone when you are fighting when you are going through emotions, going through thoughts, everything. Being negative is so easy. Making excuses is so easy. Staying inside is so easy. The challenge is being positive, happy, and experiencing life because we are so scared. We're so afraid of change. And loneliness and everything. And that's not okay. It's okay to be scared. But it's not okay to let fear and paranoia and excuses rule your life. Because then you sit there regretting and being angry at everybody else that's living. I'm not going to be that way. <laughs> I'm definitely not. Even if I didn't have my baby... If my baby was not growing in my stomach right now, I'd be pushing for this. I'd be pushing for myself to live because I was already doing it. I was already making these changes for myself. Not for anybody else, for myself. And I know we want to be recognized for the job well done that we've been doing or anything like that. But even if we don't get recognized, tell yourself that you're doing a good job. Because even that makes you feel good. Reward yourself when you feel like you've done something amazing. <sighs> but <laughs> I think that's uh, uh, all I have for today. I hope you have an amazing Friday. And... For those of you who have asked about my pregnancy, my pregnancy is going great and amazing. I feel my little man kicking me. I love him so much. <laughs> um, I can't wait for him to be born. He should be born September 26th. So, almost three months now. <laughs> and I'm excited and so is his dad. But I love you all very much. I care for you all, and this is why I'm saying these things, and this is why I am sharing what I am experiencing. And, you know, people can hate me for it, people can not like me for it, people can say crap, go for it. The positive outlook is what I have, the positive comments is what I have. I love myself right now, I love the fact that I am doing this, and... I am kind of doing it by myself, and that's great. Honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way right now. <laughs> but I hope everybody has a great Friday, and if you want, share this with somebody you think needs this. Tell them they need to watch the whole thing or whatever. And for those of you who actually sat here and watched the whole thing, thank you. I hope it reached you. If not, 
thanks for watching it anyways. And have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend. Father's Day is coming up for those single moms, those fathers, and everyone that's a father figure. Thank you for being amazing. And have a wonderful time. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And have a magical day. Bye.